your girl Kayla Cheyenne and I am back with another video. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be reviewing hair from another hair company. This time it's sponsored by Alyssa Hair. And like I say all the time, even though a video is sponsored, I'm still going to always give my honest review. As you can see, this hair is not the regular type of hair that I get. We tried something really different. A lot of highlights, more blonde, all that good stuff. Shout out to the people who commented different things they wanted me to try, different hair colors, different type of textures etc before we get into this video make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that like button and make sure to comment any other type of videos that you guys might want to see but without further ado let's get right into the video okay y'all so before we get into rating this hair i'm gonna put a screenshot or a picture of just what the hair looks like on the website on the website it says that this is the exclusive original brown wig with blonde highlights p4613 straight and body wave lace front wigs human hair i chose the 24 inch 5x5 five five closure wig with 180% density. I also chose a large wig cap. Now with that being said, let's get right into the rating. For those of you who already been following me and watching my hair videos, y'all already know how I rate the wigs. But if you don't, I'm happy to tell you guys. And welcome to my channel, by the way. So I rate my wigs on about 12 different things. First is always going to be the lace because that's like kind of the most important part. Then I rate it on how it looks after the knots are bleached. Third, I rate it on how well it takes curls slash heat fourth i rate it on if it's true to the length and the density that it says that it is fifth i rate it on the size of the wig cap i also rate it on the amount of shedding and the amount of bouncing body that the hair has i rate it on the amount of moisture and how soft the hair is and you know we can't forget about the smell that's one of the most important things then i rate it based on just the overall look of the wig i also rate it on its ability to be glueless and last but not least i give the wig just an overall rating about how i feel about it in general so first we're gonna rate the legs as y'all can see the lace is literally perfect i'll give the lace a 10 out of 10 hands down then we're gonna rate it on how well the knots took bleach just like in the previous clip as you guys can see they bleach very well then we're gonna rate it on if it's true to the length and the density that it says that it is Previously, I mentioned that it was 24 inches with 180% density. This hair is thick and I will say that it is about 180% density. Um, nothing less than that. Uh, I say it's true to the density that it says that it is. And I also insert a clip of me standing up showing you guys the length. And as you can see, it's giving at least 24 inches. So overall, the length and the density both get a 10 out of 10. Next, we're going to rate it on the size of the wig cap. Your girl chooses a size large wig cap because I might, you know, have a big head or whatever however it does come true to size when you order that large or whatever size you are so anytime i order a large it's automatically going to be true to size which i love it fits your girl's head perfectly and i love how it feels it's not too snug and not too loose then we're going to rate it on the amount of shedding that it has i've curled this hair my hairstylist has curled this hair and i've seen little to no shedding she didn't complain about it so i give it a 10 out of 10 especially for it being blonde hair as well that's something you might want to look for for, but this hair gave us no problem so I like that. Then we're going to rate it on the amount of bouncing body that the hair has. I also showed you in the previous clip but I put it here again. As you can see it has a lot of bouncing body to it. Even right here y'all just it's not stiff okay and that's what we like to see. So I give the amount of bouncing body a 10 out of 10. Next we're going to rate it on the amount of moisture and how soft the hair is. So as I mentioned before every time you have like blonde hair you want to kind of be careful because sometimes the more blonde that it has has, the more dry and brittle it could be however i have yet to receive hair that was blonde and dry and just brittle so this hair gets a 10 out of 10 it's super soft it's moisturized i don't feel like i need to oil it or do anything extra to it so like i said 10 out of 10 for the moisture and softness next we're going to rate it on the smell if you know you know y'all sometimes when you get a wig it can be a little smelly but this hair was not smelly at all even after like i flat ironed it and curled it and stuff it still didn't have that weird smell to it it just had that regular hair smell when you curl wigs but it was nothing bad nothing outrageous if you know you know but i give the smell a 10 out of 10 because i had no issues or didn't notice anything then we're gonna rate it on the overall look of the wig now look y'all are making me step out of my comfort zone and get more blondes and get more different type of colors so i actually kind of like it because your girl it's a little safe i usually play it safe i get like browns or just like a darker blonde but y'all wanted this type of blonde but i got it because y'all know i do anything for y'all but it's actually 
actually growing on me and I really like this color. So I gave it a 10 out of 10. I have no problems with it. I like how it curls. I like how the curls drop. I like everything about this hair to be honest. So the overall look of the wig is a 10 out of 10. Then we're gonna rate it on its ability to be glueless. Y'all, I say this in every hair video that I have. If the wig can't be glueless, your girl can't wear it because I don't know how to do hair. So the fact that my hairstylist is able to customize it like this, I'm able to put it on and off when I need to. So 10 out of 10 for me. I don't think I ran into a problem yet where she couldn't customize it. I know sometimes she's like, don't bring this type of wig to me. So I haven't, but this hair gave me no troubles. It gave her no troubles. She was able to get it done and I'm able to wear it glue so we love that 10 out of 10 and last but not least i'm gonna give it an overall rating overall i had no issues with it especially that it's blonde i expect more issues i expect more problems but i have literally zero so we love that i like the look of it there was no issues with smell or nothing so i, I really like this hair it's different um i like that it's kind of if you call it ombre i'm not the type of person who would just get like a straight 613 wig um that's like too blonde for me but i do like that it has hints of brown in it so yeah i give it a 10 out of 10 for the overall look i think you could do more with it if you guys chose the what 13 by 6 or something like that i choose the closure wigs because that's just what i get but i feel like if y'all chose that you could do more styles you could do more things to it etc so i give it a 10 out of 10 for the overall look so that concludes my rating y'all i swear i'm gonna get so many more wigs coming i'm gonna get shorter ones i'm gonna get curlier ones i'm gonna get different colored ones everything to test out for you guys because it's just kind of what i do i test out stuff so you don't have to if you like it on me then you won't have to waste your money trying it out for yourself if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and if you are already subscribed welcome back thank you so much for watching my video you guys make sure to follow me on my social media accounts at kayla cheyenne underscore on instagram and kayla cheyenne on tiktok as well also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys can be notified as soon as I drop another video. I have more hauls on the way and I have more hair videos on the way and maybe some more DIY videos, who knows. But one thing I will have is some more vlogs. The Cali vlog will be coming soon and my Jamaica vlog will be coming right after. Thank you guys again so much for your love and support. I literally read all you guys' comments. I try to respond to everybody. Thank you for everyone who also followed me on Instagram and just stay connected with me through all my social media accounts. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.